Hey everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas that I'm going to be doing an acrylic swipe with balloon kisses. And let's go over my paints. My base coat is Amsterdam Titanium Buff Light and I am showing you the consistency here. I left it a little bit on the thicker side and I will talk about my pouring medium here in a minute. My next paint is the Blick Metallic Teal. My next paint is Master's Touch Fluorescent Yellow. My next paint is the Modern Masters Amethyst. My next paint is the Modern Masters Ruby. And my last paint is the Porage Posse line and it is the Susan's Heirloom Rose Shimmer. Very pretty color. And what I'm going to do is put down my base coat. Oh, excuse me, my, um, and I am going to do a, a swipe over with the Amsterdam um, Expert Series, their Indigo. So I'm going to be laying down my base coat, and here it is. And now I'm just going to be laying down my paints for my swipe. And as I do that, I can tell you that my pouring medium today was 60% Floetrol, 30% Mod Podge, and 10% GAC 800. I did put a little bit of water in those paints, but not very much at all. And that is quite a thick pouring medium, but I do want that for this swipe because I am going to be doing the balloon kisses, and that thickness helps hold those balloon kisses in place. And I am fast forwarding this uh, part of the video. And there was my uh, swipe color, the Amsterdam, Amsterdam Expert Series, the Indigo. Very pretty color. I am using a big palette knife here today. And I'm just letting it glide over those paints. And with the, the excess paint, you can see that I'm tapping it on the sides of my painting to cover the edges. No silicone used here today, but the pouring medium that I did use for my swipe color was four parts Floetrol to one part of that indigo paint. And then I did add about four drops of the Minwax wood conditioner in the red can. And I will put all of this in the description for you. And here I'm just using a smaller palette knife there to spread that paint. Giving it a quick torch. And just working with the sides there and doing a little bit of tipping just to distribute that paint a little bit. And also with those little cells, I'm kind of drawing those out. Here I'm just taking my skewer and running it through just for a little something for the eye to look at and a little more interest in the painting. Now is when I start doing my um, balloon kisses with my little water balloon. And as you can see, I just, I just dab, dab that balloon there. And I am cleaning that balloon off in between almost every dip. Once in a while, I will transfer paint from one little um, flower to the other. But mostly, I do clean off that um, balloon in between dips. And when I use my finger, finger there, I'm just 
giving it a little stem. And I do like to make flowers in a line, like you can see though that yellow line of flowers there I made. And I'm still working on it. Just think that's really pretty and it draws the eye. This is really a fun kind of pour to do. And it's just interesting bringing up all those colors underneath. Working with the sides a little bit more. And you can put as many little balloon flower kisses, balloon kiss flowers on your painting as you want. For, for this painting, I, I did a lot of them. Now just a quick torch. And there I'm just using, um, it's a little cotton ball with um, saran wrap around it. And here we are with our close up. And I'm trying to show you the whole painting here. And this is the upper left hand corner. I'm very happy with how this turned out. Very colorful. And what I do like about it too is that indigo in the background. And that's the lower left hand corner. Just going to take you over the whole painting here. Love the purple and the yellow together. And that's part of where I strung out some of those flowers. I do like the red color. Here is the lower right hand corner just going up the right hand side and coming up to the upper right corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would help my channel grow. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you enjoyed your little this little video I made for you. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.